Another common uh, camera workflow thing that people like to use is the uh, look at object. So I'm gonna just collapse this um, view out to the right over here and then let's create another camera and we can do a camera look at null so that we can kind of uh, have our camera focus on a target while, while it moves through space. So I'm gonna just create a new camera from our view again by holding down control and clicking on the camera icon. That gives us another camera over here. I'm just gonna bring it up here um, to uh, this area that we've been working in up here and um, let's just call this the look at cam. So look at cam. And then what I wanna do is actually create a null. So I'm gonna hit tab and type in null. And this is gonna be the look at target. So we're gonna call this a uh, look at target, like so. And let's just position that look at target. I'm gonna just, um, we're in our look at cam right now. I'm gonna click the, un untick the lock right here so that I can actually get out of that view and see what this camera is doing. I'm going to, let's say, let's hide these other cameras so that all we can see is the look at cam. So you can see that look at cam right here. And let's say we want that, um, that this null object to be looking at always at the, the, you know, the portal of this vortex thingy we've got right here. So I'm just going to grab the null and maybe I'll turn it on point snapping mode and just kind of move to the side like this. Um, so that I've got my uh, th this vortex kind of in um, in my view. And I'm just going to grab this little purple uh, box that appears in the middle and just drag it up there so that it's snapping to one of the ends of one of these vortexes, vortex thingies like so. And then I might just try and move it over a little bit. Oops, I'm going to turn off. I'm going to undo what I just did and then turn off snapping and just kind of move it over so that it's kind of located in the center a little bit better like this. Maybe it's kind of in the center of that beam. And so now uh, what I can do is actually, um, I think the easiest way to set up a look at um, constraint is to use the uh, shelf tools to do it. So let me just split my view left and right. So it's two views side by side right here. And in one view, I'm gonna select looking through our look at camera right here. And then, so we can see kind of what's happening. And then over here, I'll just have like uh, you know kind of an ability to control um, how the uh, how our camera is is moving through space. So the first thing I want to do is select the look at camera, and then I'm going to go to constraints up here, and then say look at. I'm just going to click that, and then you see down here it's uh, this little thing that this little message that come up comes up says now select a look at object if any press enter to accept selection. So I'm just going to select the look at target over here in the network view, but then I'm going to move my mouse back over the viewport before I hit enter. And then that allows me to move on to the next step. Now it's asking look up object. This is just an up vector, which I'm not going to use for this because um, I like to kind of control my role on my own. But um, I'm going to just hit enter here. And now we have a look at you can see that this this null is in the center of our um, is, is in the center of our view. If I grab this null, now and grab the manipulator and move it around you can see it's changing my view on the right and the camera on the right the camera you can see here um in the, um, in the left hand view the camera is always looking at that look at object i'm just going to undo those moves real quick and you can also see that you know so if we were going to do something like put a camera move on this i could you know select our look at cam maybe i'll right click on this and line my handle to world and then i could do something like um you know, set a keyframe at frame one. So I'm just going to alt click on translate. And then on frame 72, um, I can just grab this X axis handle and just slide it over, you know, here. And then um, alt click the X, um, I could alt click the translate parameter again to set another keyframe. And if we frame those up, obviously we've only moved along one axis, so we could get rid of these other keyframes if we wanted to by holding control shift and clicking in both of them. And we're just left with our X axis, our, our X axis translation keyframe here. And we could linearize them and uh, maybe switch back to single view and press play and kind of enjoy that uh, kind of look at like uh, behavior that we have like so. Nice. Now the constraint that was made here to um, 
make this look at behavior work is actually you can kind of see here there's a little symbol on the look at camera that it looks like a little uh, squiggly line inside of a green circle and you can see right here uh, under constraints it has enable constraints um, available and so if we actually double click and look inside of our camera you can see a bunch of camera stuff and then in here there's a little chop network where our constraints exist and if we jump in there you can see this is the look at uh, constraints inside of the uh, chops context and here we've got a, um, a controller for our look at stuff it's you know it's giving us all sorts of you know more or less telling us what our look at axis is and our look up axis is and then um, we can actually determine the twist here on this little uh, parameter right here so it would be cool if we had control of the twist on the camera itself so what I like to do is uh, maybe jump back up to the object level and go to the look at camera and maybe right next to our rotation parameter that we have right here we can just grab that twist parameter and edit our interface so this is kind of cool this is like user data type stuff but if we hit this little gear icon up in this upper right hand corner and say edit parameter interface this little window pops up that'll allow us to put uh, different parameters of our choosing in uh, to this parameter interface that we have right here you can see we've got translate rotate pivot all that stuff is um, is located right here so if I dive into the look at camera, dive into the chop net, grab this look at node, and grab this twist right here, I'm just going to grab that twist parameter and drag it over into the, uh, the edit parameter interface and drop it right between translate and rotate. Click apply and accept. And then we'll just go back up to the object level. And look, if you look at your um, camera, you can see you got a nice little twist control in there. And that twist control is pushing this information into that constraint network that is inside of the camera. So that's kind of handy to know that um, you can kind of manipulate your interface that way to get the functionality you're after. It's uh, usually in there somewhere.